Okay, today we are going to talk about number sense. And number sense means how well do you understand numbers and patterns and how numbers are connected and number lines and things like that. And one way to develop your number sense is to learn how to use a hundreds chart where you have 10 numbers in a row and this one goes from 1 to 120 but you can have hundreds charts that go even beyond that. Um, so we're going to learn about hundreds charts. And you can use a paper hundreds chart or you can look at one hanging on the wall. Um, but what we really want to do eventually is we want this hundreds chart to be inside your head. So first you can start by using a paper and the more practice you get with a hundreds chart, the more it just becomes part of your brain and then you don't even need to look at one. So that's the goal is to get this hundreds chart inside your brain. And the game we're going to do um, to work on this is called a treasure hunt. And the way we work, this works, is we're going to pretend that there's a hidden treasure on a hundreds chart and this is a map to where do you find the treasure. So for this one, <clears throat> you start at the number 48, you go left, then left, then left, then up, and where would you find the treasure? So we need to find 48, then we go left, and left, and left, and up, and we finish on 35. And for this one, the next one, we start on 3, and then we're going to go down, 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 down. So start on 3, and we go down 4 times, and we finish on 43. And when you start doing this, definitely use this chart, and you can even draw on one to help you figure out what's happening when you're moving around the chart. But eventually you're going to start getting this in your brain and you might not even need to look at this chart once you figure out the patterns. Like, what's really happening when I go right on the hundreds chart? If I go from 24 to 25, what am I doing? It's really like you're adding one every time you go right. And if I'm going left, like from 38 to 37, it's the opposite. It's really like minus 1. And what if I go down? What's really happening if I go down? Like, say, from 12 to 22, what's happening there? And what's happening if I go up, like from 39 to 29? Well, going down is like adding 10 and going up is like subtracting 10. So eventually when the hundreds chart is inside your brain you're going to be able to figure these out without even looking at a hundreds chart. So for example from 64 if you go left or from 65 if you go left you'll be at 64 then 63, then 62, then if you go up, you're minus 10 more and minus 10 more, and the end will be at 42. And we did that whole thing without looking at the hundreds chart. And just one other thing that you may um, get confused about, if you're at 80 and you need to go to the right, you'll go down to the next row at 81. And likewise, if you're at 61, and you need to go to the left, you'll go to 60. And the more you do this, the more the hundreds chart goes into your brain, and the more easily you'll be able to do addition and subtraction just inside your head, knowing what you know about the hundreds chart and developing your number sense. So that's all, and thank you.